after the integration scenarios are maintained uh, for uh, BRM, right, the, the three integration scenarios, uh, the next step uh, as a prerequisite uh, is to associate actions to the uh, default uh, connectors, right, your connectors. So how do we do that? So in SPRO, uh, go to, we don't need this anymore. Let's go to access control, okay? Now in access control, so you, you will have to maintain configuration parameters also. We'll see what, the, what they are, what parameters you need to maintain. Uh, maintain connector settings, uh, let's see what it is, but this is not the requirement, right? You, this is where you define well, what kind of uh, systems you have, whether the systems, the connectors that you are including are production type or a development type or a testing type. So this is not what we want to see now, right now. Um, the step that you want to do is associating actions with connected groups. Okay, so here when I click on this, we can execute and you have the connector group, right? So if you had created your own connector group, you would see it here. But we, since we did not, we are, we are using SAP's default one. Uh, select. Um, so anyway, so if you have to add your own group, so you can go come here and enter the group, and then you have to make it active, okay? And the application type. Application type would be whatever. So in our case, would have, it would have been SAP. So we are we would pick, uh, we are pick uh, SAP here, 01. 001. Okay, so anyway, and save it. So since we are using the SAP default, default one, so make sure, you know, we need to ensure that it is this group is, connected group is set to active status, but now we need to assign the actions, right? So click on, the first step is connect, select the group and click on default connected to the group, right? And here you have to assign all the four actions that you see and any given point of time for a connector uh, you know one uh, uh, could be has been set as defaulted okay so click on new entries when you click on new entries you'll get uh, connector group action and target connector group okay so in the connector group you pick your connector group which is in our case is this in the action so you'll have to Assign all the four, okay? You want to assign uh, the actions marked one to four. Okay, one, two, three, four. If you're using HR module, then maybe you have fifth one also, but typically you will, if you're not using HR, then you will use only the first four. So you click on the first one and assign your target group uh, in a target connector and then say default. So once you save it, right, you will get this entry, okay? So like that, you know, once you click on new entries, you keep on adding the, the first uh, offer, you know, the entries for all these four actions, one, two, and three, four. And for all of them, you have to say default, okay? You have to pick your select uh, connector group, pick the action, and, and your target group your target connector, and then say default. And once you do that, this is how it's going to look. Well, all your entries. So since we are using uh, our target connector group as the EHP CLNT 100, we have made that as default. Okay, so you also at least, you know, that the only thing is, you know, you have to make sure there is at least one default per action. Okay, that's what this means, at least one default, okay? And when you save it, it will again prompt you to, you know, create a request or and, you know, assign it to a transport request. Uh, you just do that, okay? 